oh my god, my friend said she has depression, but she's fucking lying. I saw her smile the other day. <laughs> oh my god, I know this dude who's lying about having cancer. Because I know people with cancer, they're bold, but he still has hair. So he's clearly exaggerating, he doesn't have cancer. Being a neurodivergent person with a fuck ton of mental disorders is exhausting in itself. We don't need to deal with people like you who make these extremely disrespectful, unacceptable comments and question the legitimacy of people's disabilities. Because that is exactly why people don't get accommodated, why people are not given accessibility, why, well, ma'am, I think you need to get out of that wheelchair because I just saw you stand up and reach for that thing on the shelf. And I know people in wheelchairs and they're not able to stand at all, so get the fuck out of the wheelchair. Or like living with an invisible disability and constantly having people be like, no. No, you don't. What the fuck do you know? You don't even know what agoraphobia is. Agoraphobia does not mean you can't leave your house, period. That's not what agoraphobia is. It doesn't even have anything to do with your fucking house. <laughs> you want me to really blow your mind? I spent six months backpacking in Southeast Asia. I was staying in $4 hostels. I was sleeping on dirt floors and huts. I was sleeping on the beach. And I still had agoraphobia. <laughs> and the people who uh, were staying in said facilities with me can tell you that because every time they left and came back, I was still fucking there. Public service announcement. Bipolar has nothing to do with mood swings. OCD, nothing to do with being clean. And agoraphobia, nothing to do with your house. <laughs> and I'd like to reiterate to everyone, People with mental conditions and mental disorders and mental health problems are oppressed in society. We experience a lot of discrimination, particularly in the healthcare system. So if you sit back while you hear someone saying this to someone, silence is violence. We cannot accept people saying shit like this, ever. If you see someone flippantly use the term like, oh my god, let me straighten this picture on the wall, I'm so OCD. You have to say something. That is not acceptable. People with OCD face severe consequences of trying to live in a neurotypical world. We, we cannot allow that shit anymore. anymore. We're very aware of how it affects people. We have empirical evidence to show that. This, don't fucking say it to anyone ever again. You do not get to tell someone that the thing that debilitates their life is an exaggeration. Unless you're my dad in like 1995, what the fuck? SSRIs are bad because you become dependent on them. Because you, your brain needs them. No, I, I don't know why.